evidence. Just read that for, for everybody to know what is in that document. All right, my lord. So it says, I, the undersigned Bongani Nicholas Kininda, state under oath, as follows in English. I am employed as a police officer in terms of Section 30 of the South African Police Service Act 68 of 1995. I perform my duties under the same act. I am currently stationed at the National Commissioner's Office as the commander for cold case investigation unit of the National Commissioner with the rank of a colonel and the service number. I mentioned the service number, service number so that's the te telephone number. That's paragraph one. Now you get no, no. a paragraph of let, let, it, let him finish first. As the court pleases, thank you, my lord. Um, I am the lead investigating officer of Fostora 636-10-2014, which is a case of murder where one Senzo Mayua was shot and killed on the 26th of October 2014 between 2030 and 2100 hours. It, it, it initially appeared that it was a robbery gone wrong. Witness statements under oath indicated that two black males entered the house demanding cell phones and money, purporting to be a house robbery. Seven adults and one child were present in the house when the, uh, when the uh, accused entered. The witnesses, state, the witnesses stated that one of the accused was carrying a firearm, purporting to be a revolver. This accused was described as a person, as, as a black male with big eyes, dreadlocks, wearing a khaki or brown jacket, or, or top and a hat. He was shorter in height than the second suspect. The second suspect was described as a tall, slender, neatly shaven, and dark in complexion. It is stated under oath that during the robbery in the same house, a struggle ensued between Senzo Meiwa, the deceased, and the suspect carrying the firearm. Two shots were fired by the suspect. One of the gunshots hit the deceased Meiwa on close range in his chest and ex 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 exited at the back of his body. The second accused focused on the rest of the witnesses. In the process, one of the cellular phones belonging to Ms. Kelly Kumalo was robbed by the suspect during the committal of the offense. It is also stated under oath that suspicious suspect were suspects wearing specific clothing, among others, a hoodie, were standing hidden away about a few meters from the crime scene prior to the incident appearing to be typing on their cell phone. It is stated that the suspect fled on foot and the head which was worn by the shooter was left on the crime scene. It is equally stated that the suspect hidden away which is explained to be linked to the offense was seen running away from the crime scene. Identities were compiled through witnesses of this suspect. The victim was rushed to the hospital by the witnesses who were in the house However, he was declared dead on arrival at the hospital. The incident took place between half past eight and 2100 hours, my lord. The deceased was declared dead on arrival at the hospital at 2115. Investigation revealed that, cell, that the cell phone which was robbed was picked up through cell phone towers until the signal was lost during the area, I mean, covering the area of phosphorus was there. The said cell phone was never recovered to date or ever switched on again. The evidence explained here in ANDA will indicate that the planning of the offense and gathering and gathering after the incident took place at Fosoras Hostel. Investigations, investigation which resulted in evidence under oath revealed that the victim was murdered as a contractual assassination or hit rather than a robbery or robbery gone wrong. Evidence under oath revealed that five suspects actively participated in the planning and execution of the contractual murder of Senzo Meiwa. The suspect in question is follows. Um, 3.1, Musika Ukulelua Stemba Spia. He was first linked to this offense by means of witness statement under oath. The accused boasted to individuals closely associated with him in KZN homelands as to his involvement together with Mafiga. Here in as under suspect two, Carlos under suspect three, Mapisa suspect four, and Ngani suspect five into killing of the deceased. A dispute ensued 
between the individuals and and the closely associated individual disclose to the ACPS the admissions this accused made to them. The accused was further linked with circumstantial evidence wherein um, many minutes he minutes after the incident made disclosure and remarks at a family gathering he attended in Fosteras as to the killing of Senzo even before the death was reported in the media. If he is further linked by means of a formal confession he made to the commission independent officer on the 30th of May 2020. The suspect further made a formal pointing out, um, pointing out the sequence collection prior to the incident, the guarding of the outside of the house during the assassination, and the dropping of the accused at the cell phone tower referred to here in above. Second one, three point two, Bongani Sandison Tan's nickname Mafida. He is linked to this offense by means of certified sworn statement he made in to the witnesses and an identity kit compiled through description of witnesses. He was identified as the person with a hoodie who initially stood outside of the house prior <coughs> to the incident and running away after the incident. The involvement of this suspect was mentioned by suspect one here in above is equally involved in the killing of the deceased to the family of suspect one. The suspect was traced through information received and he was confronted with the evidence available against him. He was amongst others confronted with the clothes he was alleged to have worn and compiled identikit. During the questioning, the suspect said during the questioning and the subsequent search of the premises where the ammunition where ammunition found for which no license was produced. The suspect was arrested for this offense. Year after the suspect indicated his eagerness to confess as to the involvement uh, in this matter. The suspect made a confession to a commissioned officer mm -hmm. on the 19th of June 2020 and later made a further confession in the presence of his attorney to a magistrate in Boxback, um, Boxback Court on the 24th of June 2020. Through the confession, through the confession, it da does it appear that this suspect is the suspect that was described as a tall, slender build which came into the house. 3.2, Toby C. Prince nickname Carlos Nobe. He is linked by means of sworn certified statement in the docket referred to here in above. The involvement of this accused was equally explained in detail in the confession by suspect two above. Through investigation of, of this information contained in the confession, further evidence under oath was obtained as to the suspect's mm -hmm. real name depicted above. It was established that the suspect was sentenced prisoner serving 35 years imprisonment for the murder committed in 2015. Ballistic tests revealed that the same firearm used in the murder uh, for which the accused was serving his sentence were used in the murder of Senzo Mehiwa. Upon the accused arrest for the 2015 convicted murder, a cell phone was seized in his, was seized in his possession the cell phone downloadings of this cell phone were done. The photos found on his cell phone memory showed him wearing the same clothing that were identified by witnesses on the day of the incident as the accused carrying the revolver upon entering the house. Photos downloaded taken of the accused by himself or selfies match the description of the suspect who was who had a firearm with red locks, big eyes, and with the gold teeth. This is the suspect. This is the sus. This is the suspect that went into the house, made a demand for cell phone and money. He is also the same suspect that shot the deceased in this matter during the struggle with him. Photos were, were actually found of the murder weapon used in the murder of Senzo Meiwa. 3.4, to also known as Mapisa. The suspect is linked to this 
offense by means of certified sworn statement and referred to herein above. He is further linked by means of confession he made to a private person, a close friend, about, the invo about his involvement in this matter. This, this confession came about in that the suspect requested this private person to establish reasons why suspect Mafiga was arrested. The information disclosed was that the suspect Mafiga was not only arrested for ammunition but, but also for the Meiwa murder. Upon the private person return disclosing this information to the suspect Mapisa, did Mapisa instruct the private person to return to and inform Mafiga, which is accused to my not, not to disclose his, Mapisa's involvement as he, Mafiga, will be assassinated. It was during this discussion that the suspect, Mapisa, confessed to the private person his involvement in the matter. Investigation revealed that the role of this suspect was to guard any unexpected people who may come in or outside the house. He was also armed with a small firearm, 3.5. Also known as the suspect is linked by means of son statement by witnesses referred to above. He is linked to a car that was used as a getaway vehicle, which is a silver VW Polo. Evidence also revealed that, they, that he drove the car with the suspect to the same scene and back to Fosforas Hostel after the incident. His role was to remain and guard the getaway car during the commission of the offense. The, co the confession of my figure, insofar as the usage of the vehicle refer refers to, is supported by independent witnesses confirming that this accused was seen driving the said vehicle prior and after the committal of the murder in the company of the referred suspect. The above suspects are also known to be hitmen for taxi wars. The said, the said suspects were traced and found on different locations and occasions where they were warned according to their constitutional rights in terms of Section 35, uh, Act 108 of, 19, of 1996 by me and question for this um, incident. Some of the suspects made confessions to the independent commission officers as well as the magistrate as indicated above. Others made confessions as they were showing off to private persons who were well known to them after the incident, but on different occasions as well. Evidence by means of sworn collaborating and independent witness statements establishes a casual link between the offenders and the offense of murder, robbery with aggravating circumstances possession of unlicensed firearm and the unlawful possession of ammunition. The Director of Public Prosecution Counting Division on the directive of the National Director of Public Prosecution issued after careful consideration of the presented evidence that the above five suspects in paragraph three must be uh, arraigned for murder, robbery and aggravating circumstances as well as possession of unlicensed firearm and ammunition. The, the instruction attached are uh, attached with the statement SBNG1. I hereby apply for the warrant of arrest for the following suspect on the above indicated charges uh, on, on this paragraph. Um, then it is the names of accused one to five my lord. Um, then it's the uh, oath and the statement was commissioned um, on October the 3rd, 2020, 10, the third of October. Now, so the statement South Africa did not deny the Mapupi statement. It is Sikaza Uguti Uyen Zeni and Angapam Uguti as the Azopara less statement. In Lai Uguti, we are Kaza Nuguti, Abamanga Neva Bona, Bafagua Bule Lizala, Bayen Zeni Futi, Unala Uguti Ukaza Uguti, Umanga Lokana, Uya Wahamba, Kulman Oban, Mutu Pega Teson, the Lenaye. In Apo Eguti, Lomun to Loyue, what in a Sebutu and Amapoisa, they say you umanga the local Laguna, a banda Ganera Pona, the Manga little spin in Nai, Unazin, Ebu Tuya was Puluma, Ebegate, Espluma, Mumun to Otis and Naya, Ubanda Ganera Maleo, now and I would to Manga the lowest heart, Utava, Manga the lowest spin, 
ngale sikhathi ebekade ekhuluma egunyuluka lapha yana ukuthi yena uthi bekayenzani kula na umangalelo wesine naye uyachazwa khona lapho futhi ingathi ikulesa statements sikamangala lo wesibini umangalelo wesihlanu yena uchazwa njengomuntu obekade naye ekhona futhi uyena umuntu obekade eshayela imoto le bekade kuhanjwa ngayo ngale sikhathi kwenza kala le licala leli lelicala leli kwenza liqale ingathi bekade kuyobanjwa nje inkunzi kodwa kugcine seyikuthi uyabonakala ukuthi bekungasi nje ukuyobamba inkunzi okujwayelekile bekade kuthunyelwe noma bekade kunolwazi lokuthi kuyoyenzakala khona lapho futhi labandla laba bekade beyingxenye yokuthi le licala leli liye liyoyenzakala futhi kuchaziwe nalana ukuthi ummangalelo ubekade owesithathu ubekade yena e ngaphakathi kuyicala ukuthi lenza ke lengo 2015 lokuthi nalo bekade sekuthi unikwe isigwebo seminyaka engamashumi amathathu nanhlanu la ukuthi ubekade ebadla ejele kodwa ke ubrigadiere uthi naye uye wa yenza uphenyo lwakhe ingakho eqinise ukuthi ubala lesi statement ku ngamafuphi nje aksi yonke into ayibhalile kodwa bemzama nje ukuthi ngeke ukusibamba lapha yana nalapha yana lesi statement My Lord, I just want to correct also the date in which the statement was signed and commissioned. It's actually the 23rd of October 2020. Sorry, not the date. So it's 23rd, 23 October 2020. Tige forty any do date ya the statement in lastly sign we corner at C E three E twenty three. Zika October 2020.